in a starting position, I pull my upper left quadrant back in here. See, his hand is, let's turn around. That's on my body, okay? I'm going to match the resistance. Right here, it's going to slide all over the place. And this hand, if I started to fall, will do me no good at all, okay? I'm going to pull my shoulder back, so connect to his hand, and this hand will be right here. If we do start to fall, I'm going to grab. But I don't, unless I'm falling. Got it? <laughs> No grabbing. Da da. Okay, let's. Here, I'm here. Now, somebody said, "Well, I can't." You know, they go like this. No, this gets out of the way. Shoulder goes back. Elbow goes back. Whew, right here. See, and I don't have to hold on. It's just a look. I'm holding on with my body. Okay, match the resistance. Go to here, yes, rather than up here, which he has no hold at all. Got it? Let me see it. Okay, whole upper left quadrant. Upper left quadrant. I was watching television one time because somebody will say, you know, use the lats, use this, lose that. I want everything in there. And it was a medical show. And this doctor says, well, everything within this upper left quadrant, I'm saying, yes, that's it. From the spine to the waist, everything in there. Take the whole works back. There's no specific, the whole thing, OK? So as a starting position, OK, this is, take this back, take it back. What, what would you have to do? Put this in my hand. It's not there yet. Really? It's not there yet. Keep on going. Just rotate slightly. Yes. OK, now pull the elbow. Let go of the hand for a second. See how far that will go? And this comes back. It's amazing how that stance puts you in his right hand. Now, here's the rule, girls. He's holding on with that left hand. But anytime the right hand is in contact, that's the lead. Let me borrow this young lady for a second. I shouldn't have to take hold here. I should be able to do, I feel fingers on my shoulder. Ta da! <laughs> See? Now, when you angle into my hand, I should be able to take her here or here.